Masturbating fetuses prove that abortion should be banned. It doesn't make any sense, I know. But this man, whose picture is over my shoulder, Republican Congressman Michael Burgess of Texas, also an OBGYN, says that, or implies at least, that masturbating fetuses prove abortion should be banned. He was talking yesterday up with his colleagues about these. Uh, we've, we, there's now a number of these new abortion restrictions. It, it doesn't even really matter what this one is. There's constantly an effort from the American conservative religious right to limit women's decision making ability, their choices and uh, to try to control women. We've covered it extensively for years, Lewis. The audience, I think that part they're familiar with. Right. What we have never heard before is that masturbating fetuses are the reason why abortion should be banned. I will play for you what he had to say yesterday, and I warn you that it is incredibly absurd and may make you question, uh, well, it should make you question a lot of things. Take a listen. Gentlemen, Dr. Burgess. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, this is a subject that I do know something about. Hmm. And I will just tell you, from the delivery of thousands of babies, attending thousands of women during their pregnancy, performance of thousands of sonograms, there's no question in my mind no question in my mind that a baby at 20 weeks after conception can feel pain. The fact of the matter is, I argued with the chairman because I thought the date was far too late. We should be setting this at 15 weeks, 16 weeks. You watch a sonogram at a 15-week baby, and they have movements that are purposeful. They stroke their face. If they're a male baby, they may have their hand between their legs. I mean, they feel pleasure. Why is it so hard to think that they could feel pain? Okay, stop it right there. So, th so the for those who didn't understand what he's getting at, he's saying a male baby in utero will put its hand between its legs, and therefore, if it can feel pleasure from having its hand between its legs, essentially some kind of baby masturbation, then certainly it could feel pain, and therefore we should be banning abortion. Is this the most outrageous one we've ever we've ever seen, Lewis? I, I think it is quite strange that he's he's deducing that because the hand of a fetus happens to be in between its legs, that it's it's purposefully um, wanking it to uh, th for pleasure. <laughs> no I, question I, about it. I, I mean, mean, how it, can he come to this conclusion? Realistically, the hand either drifts there unknowingly or it is there because it, it is drawn to warmth. I mean, the idea this is predicated on so much nonsense. That's one aspect of it, Lewis. The other aspect is that the house is. This bill that the House is looking at uses the scientifically disputed idea that a fetus can feel pain after 20 weeks as the basis that all abortions should be banned after that time. And uh, again, the strategy now, we have to take a broader look here. The strategy is to focus on these abortions because they are the ones that make people most concerned but also it's never mentioned that these are the least common abortions right the later term abortions which more and more people are are not in favor of and find controversial um and and we're not talking about the the 20 weeks here those are very rare but that's really where the focus is because it makes people assume oh if that's really what we're talking about maybe we should just ban all abortion when 98% of abortion is not that right they know that they can't attack it at at the root right you, they're not going to outlaw abortion across the board, but if they can get this passed, well, then maybe they can push it back even further, 15, maybe sure. 10 weeks later down the road. No question about it. And this brings up, this fetal masturbation brings up a lot of weird things. Like, if the fetus is masturbating, then doesn't it need to be born so that legislators like Michael Burgess can start condemning them as perverted sinners? Like, I don't, it's just very confusing to me uh, how, how this entire thing, because— the, the masturbation itself, presumably, is a sin of its own. So all of a sudden, now he's using... It, it's amazing how things change. Prior, priorities change very quickly. Yeah. Let's forget about the masturbation being a sin for now. Now we'll talk about uh, uh, banning abortion under that premise. Amazing. Ne yeah, next we're here that they're, they're doing calculus in right. there. Yeah. And that, therefore, uh, it's, it's liberal stuff in, in some way. We've got to jail mathematicians. Who mm -hmm. knows?